Hey everyone, what's up? It's Jason and Supra. Sitting here, it's about 40 degrees out, October 2020. And you know what that means. You're not going to be driving the Supra quite as much on those sunny days that go out. You know, it'll be less traction, you know what I mean, with that cold tires, but that's okay. That makes the fun of it. But, you know, I wanted to kind of give a little heads up, kind of what we're going to be doing uh, with videos over the next few months. Um, there's not going to be very many car shows going on, and I'm really going to be working on the Super a lot over winter time. And I kind of wanted to start with the engine bay and uh, really dress it up, which it has basically, let's say, zero done to it at this point. Other than I just got done installing this uh, Cusco uh, strut tower brace. Now, I just threw it on to see how it looked and how it fit. Um, I am not going to keep it in this color, although the blue is the standard color for this for these. So, plans. Well, a little assortment of stuff is sitting here. Came in from uh, Versus Engineering. I think they're based out of Ohio. Um, this is a turbo heat shield. And uh, this is the side of it right here. And this will completely kind of encase the turbo and direct the heat down and out, down towards the downpipe and keep it from coming up and towards the air intake. And I'm gonna have this uh, powder coated in some type of red. Now I haven't decided on the red yet that it's gonna get done in. If I'm gonna make it, you know, as shiny as possible or a wrinkle or et cetera, et cetera. I'm not sure yet. And, and these are all the caps that are for all the different parts of the engine cover. So I got four caps right here. So basically, you know, I got one hiding over here for windshield wiper fluid. Got your oil fill cap. Got your uh, two uh, coolant caps right here. Um, so that's what those go on. And then, uh, so those will be all the red caps. Now I'm gonna get a different engine cover and this piece I'm gonna replace also. Um, this is uh, mostly a cosmetic piece, um, just to direct air. Um, and they have some aftermarket ones out that are really neat. Now, I am not going, let me just give you a hint. No standard carbon fiber. Um, the only thing that will be carbon fiber on this car is that center console piece that's factory. And I might even change it out. Uh, but this is gonna be done in some exotic material. This and the engine cover and the accessory panel cover and most likely I'm gonna make a new lid for the MST intake out of the same material. Um, if I can find pre-made quarter inch thick sheets of it, then I'll trace this and make a new new one. Um, that's gonna really dress up this engine bay in, a, in an exotic material um, and the red caps. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have these powder coated. All the powder coating will match. So I'll have the blue turned into the red powder coating and um, I'm not sure if, about the center bar yet, if I'm going to leave it po this polished raw, which I probably will, um, cause it kind of will tie into this. Um, but don't hold me to that. I'm not sure yet. Um, so that pretty much will complete the whole entire look of, of the engine bay. Um, they have a, there's not very many other accessories out, um, for the engine bay. I'm planning on maybe using this space right here to, to list some manufacturers or some of the parts. Um, I haven't decided yet. I mean, I'm not really a, I'm not sponsored at all. Um, you know, I just build these, you know, this car for fun and um, drive it, you know, for fun. So, uh, but I, I do like to do shout outs. I, I ask when I'm buying some parts, I ask some of the manufacturers and some of the distributors, if they could do a better deal for me and I'll promote their items a little bit on my website. Um, and on my website, on this YouTube channel. And, you know, and sometimes I oh, will give you free shipping, Jason, or here's a free extra cap or something. And they do tend to throw something out, you know, throw me a bone or so, make me feel important. But um, that's, I don't ask for much. Um, but I got this Cusco brace, and I guess while I'm at it, I got the, the rear inside strut tower brace also. That's the silver bar that's right behind your head. Um, the factory piece and it's pretty flimsy supposedly I haven't taken it out but other people that have have taken it out and uh, this is the the Cusco bar and then these are holes that are threaded where you could actually do like if you did aftermarket seats you could attach a seat belt to um, you know aftermarket like 3.4 point harness to 
and I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I'm going to also have this bar done in the same red as this. All the red will be the same throughout the car. So uh, even when I get this exotic material done on this, I'll probably add the red stripes to it. Um, and then the other thing I have coming I forgot to mention is I do have uh, the, the charge pipes coming. So this MST one's black, and I'm going to probably have it done in the red. And I do I think I have an engine brand uh, charge pipe coming that comes in wrinkle red. So I might try to match off that red, or I'll redo it, and in 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 so all the reds match perfectly. Um, that'll really make this engine pop when it's open at the, you know, at the car shows and, you know, for the events that I go to, um, and that, that'll really just kind of complete the engine bay. So that just was a quick update. You know what I mean? Just a kind of what's going on with the Supra, you know, over the winter time. Um, that's just one of the plans coming up really soon. I'm going to really start tearing into the car for the stereo system. I actually was waiting for this uh, strut brace to come in because I'm going to install it and take all these uh, real precise measurements because a sub box is probably going to go right up to that. And I need to make sure that the stock bar and that bar, you know, where all the, we're going to fit. Uh, you know, hey, in case anybody's ever wondering, that's, that's a 1976 swing bike, both wheels turn. I can ride it like a champ. I've been riding one since I was in fourth grade, and I've had this green one for about 25 years as a rider and done it all sorts of uh, bicycle events and car shows. I would take it with me some in the past. So I'm kind of into bicycles a lot and uh, old bicycles. That's not a really old bicycle. That's just reproduction, but it's still about 20 years old now, maybe 15. I don't even know. It's my old boards. So I have decided I am not going to do... The aim gain wing on the car i think it just it's too much and not the style that i'm going for so i will be getting that up for sale really soon and i still need to work on the rear diffuser what i'm gonna do you know with that spare part left over from the from the uh max order kit so uh you know i'll try to keep everybody updated with what's going on some videos are more exciting than others you know but uh, i really appreciate everybody so far you know hit that thousand subs Flew right past that and, you know, into 1300s now and, uh, and and climbing fast. I know for a little channel, it's really silly that I'm excited about that, but I am. I really appreciate everybody's comments. And as you see, I try to respond to a lot. Um, and that and that is why I do this, to help people, not really for anything else. And it just makes it fun. So thanks for watching this one if you did to the end. And hit that like and subscribe button on this video and leave some comments. And let me think about what you think about the build so far. And we'll... We'll go from there. So, see y'all later. Bye.